everybody, what is up and welcome back to Minecraft and today I'm going to showcase a special little trap that I've designed to uh, keep people in um, in a hole. So imagine you got invited to your friend's house and you see a button on the wall and you think maybe it's hooked up to TNT so you open the door yourself but then instantly you fall. And now you're in here. You try using scaffolding to get out. That just dropped. Doesn't work. You try mining out. Doesn't work. Try mining the walls. Doesn't work. Mine the floor. Doesn't work. Um, you are just stuck. Or at least if you don't have like that many items on you. So a lot of people use the honeycomb trap because honeycombs have the same break time for every for every type of item. But it's useless to use honeycombs because honeycomb because even um even with efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe, it still takes longer to mine ancient debris than it takes to do honeycombs. So ancient debris is still better for um for for traps like this so um say that you have no blocks in your inventory um and don't have like potions and stuff you're like mid game like only diamond armor not enchanted yet Then, um, this is pretty much a permanent trap until you die of hunger. This would also be a nice prison cell for you fellow Minecraft prison builders out there. So, um, let's go through how this thing works. By first turning off the clock that makes this whole operation. So, this is a one-time use machine. It only, um, it's gonna work once. It's gonna keep one, it, it, it only drops out once. It doesn't automatically um, refill. Which I guess is um, is weird, but you kind of have to, you kind of can't really have an automatic refiller for a trap like this. So, here's how this thing works. Down here we have the pit. This is the final destination of the trap, where the walls push you forward and back, which makes it impossible to leave because when you get pushed, your break time resets. Now here's how it works. When you open the door, this observer sends a redstone pulse to this piston, which breaks a piece of scaffolding right there. And then it's going to break these pieces of scaffolding, which breaks the carpet that you're standing on, causing you to fall down into this pit. And it doesn't look like this has moving parts, but that's because it hasn't activated yet. Once the scaffolding breaks, observers, an observer train, will guide a, um, a signal down here and then send a a one tick pulse down to this clock which powers the pit turns it all on and then the player be, um the player is no longer able to get out want while they're now trapped so uh thank you for watching this awesome video and goodbye